Hey, it's been a while, but welcome to this Leon Mini, where I will run down how to create a similar effect to the clouds in Tears of the Kingdom in Godot 4 using particles. Using billboard particle effects can be a great and very efficient way to create cloud behaviours, avoiding the complexity and performance costs of volumetric effects. So, to get started, we'll create a new particle effect. In the draw passes area, uh, we'll add a quad. This is where we are going to put our textures later. Next, I'll set the lifetime to something like uh, 60 seconds and explosiveness to 0.98. This means our particles won't all spawn at once, which will make it a bit less jarring to watch. Also, I'm going to change the amount to 50. We need to tweak the process material. Turn gravity off because clouds ignore gravity, and set the emission shape to a box. This way, the particles will randomly spawn inside the box, giving each cloud a unique shape. I'm going to set these to 7x3x5 by by to start off. Now, let's make those quads a bit bigger and give them some material love. The material is going to need transparency uh, set to alpha so we can see through the transparent bits of the cloud. And under shading, I'm going to set the clouds to unshaded. This helps massively for the material's fragment shader as it's much less calculations for the transparency when multiple semi-transparent particles are layered on the screen. Next up, we need to throw our cloud textures onto the particles. I got this texture from Open Game Assets, which is linked in the description, and have edited it a little bit just to be a bit whiter. To make it look good from all angles, we we'll just turn billboarding on. I'm just going to change the box extents to make it a bit denser as well. Okay, cool, so we've got a single cloud, which is absolutely beautiful, but it might be useful to create a system that automatically populates a scene or area with a bunch of clouds to really sell those sky islands. But I can't do that until you have subscribed. Please, I really need validation. To start off, I'm going to use a CGS box 3D. This is so that in the editor, we can easily edit the bounds of where the clouds will be spawning using the box's size. Obviously, we don't want to actually render the box, so I'm going to add a material and set it to unshaded. Uh, and transparency is going to be on, and the alpha set to zero. Add a script to the box called Cloud Spawner. In here, we need two variables, the number of clouds which we will spawn, and the cloud itself as a packed scene. We then want a function called Spawn Clouds, which I will call in the ready function. In the Spawn Clouds, we want to loop through each of the clouds that we want to spawn, which I'm going to use this while loop. We want to pick a random position for where the clouds will spawn inside our box, which we will do using a random number generator to pick an X, a Y, and a Z value inside the box's bounds. And finally, we want to spawn the clouds at that position using the instantiate function on our cloud packed scene. We then call add child and set the clouds position to the random spawn position that was picked earlier. And there you go, billboard clouds beautifully drifting through your scenes in Godot. Now we can finally do what the Godot engine was made for, recreating Zelda. May your winds be high, your skies be cloudy, fly safe.